Hey guys, it's Mike here from the Rig Kitchen and we've got today, we've got Nathan and Aiden. Hey guys, how you doing there? Hello, hey, mate. So the boys have a new toy today, the Victron Smart Solar RS4450-100 MPPT. So um, cool guys, I actually see in the background there you've got a bit of an ethanol fire going there, the old Victron fire. Yeah. Good stuff, it's exciting. A bit cold in the office there today, is it? Sure it is. All right, cool. So well, tell us, about this RS45100, so new exciting toy. Why is it so exciting? The biggest feature is the first, first three numbers on it, the 450. So what that means is you can put 450 volts from your PV array into it. It means longer strings with less parallel connections, smaller cable, less fiddly bits basically. Cool. Um, so what, what were the old MPPTs compared to these? Well, I think the biggest was 250 volt, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the biggest they were offering. Um, which, uh, yeah, if you're not used to it, uh, if you're not used to parallel up strings, it can um, definitely add some time to the installation. So um, I think for a lot of people, the 450 volt string will, um, yeah, make things go a lot, a lot smoother and faster for the install. Cool. So if you got a panel which is like 40 volts, as an example, you can put like 11 of those connected in series and you're not going to blow up your MPPT. If the temperature cutoff isn't the last one. Yeah. Okay. So thankfully you'd probably go for 10 panels. Probably yeah. go for 10, yes. You should get serious. Um, cool. We've seen that a few times with installers before, haven't we? We have. So um, it's a very common thing that someone that comes from a grid connected world that comes into off-grid installs and they series all the panels up and they blow up the MPPT, so cool. So uh, what other features does this have compared to the older MPPTs? So this one's got two trackers on it as well. So that means you can have two separate arrays that are facing different directions, different angles, and they won't mess with each other. They'll both produce their own independent um, power. Cool, so I can have 10 panels facing north, 10 panels facing west, and they're going to completely perform individually and not pull each other down. Yep. Whereas this one with the one tracker, you got different voltage levels. It'll just kind of, it'll be trying to balance itself out and it'll just uh, mess with the production. Yep. So, okay, cool. So, so what's the other thing in this new RS100 compared to the smart solar? Okay, inbuilt screen is one thing so you can see the production without having to use a smartphone or without having to connect up to the color control um, that's something I mean, you can add them to the old one that's a separate unit it's a lot easier just being yeah, added all at once we also have um fans for this unit it's fan cooled rather than just a uh, heat sink cool uh, I'd say that's going to be a more efficient cooling system, but we're not sure if it's going to make much noise yet. We've got enough to test it to find out. Cool. A nice little on off switch here with this MPVT didn't happen, have. Which is, um, yeah, handy thing to have, I guess. And, and these also have an earth fault alarm, don't they? They do, yes. So, well, what does an earth fault alarm mean for the customer at the end of the day, end user? means you can see if there's something happening with the earth, like where the panel is smashed and soaked up some water, and it's short circuiting to its frame. Um, yeah, it's mainly for recognizing damage to the ray without getting up on the roof or damage to the wiring system as well. So yep. it's a safety feature. Cool. So, you know, the ratchet tube through a cable or a panel has been damaged or something's got water in it. Uh, the Victron's going to say, hey, there's a, something going to earth and give you a fault and let you know there's damage on your roof. Exactly. Save you jumping up on the roof and cold it Yeah. Okay, cool. Anything else exciting about these compared to the old ones? It does have a um, reverse polarity protection, which is another handy thing to have for installers and DIY customers. Yep, we've seen a few blown up ones over the years of people... 
getting them around their own way. <laughs> you gotta look at those colors. <laughs> so, uh, and yeah, there's still just some DIY people. I think I've seen a lot more installers do that than um, the DIY guys. So, yeah, a little bit less yeah. confident, a little bit more. Okay, cool. So, what, what's the reason you would choose um, one of these over the older styles? I think there's a few different reasons. Um, an installer might decide to use this one for ease of installation and um, efficient charging. So if the customer has a big battery bank, then they might use something like this and they've got a big shirt and they can fit 10 panels in series. They might use this just for efficiency, DC to DC charging. Um, I think, yeah, with this one, there'd be um, more applications to use this one. Um, compared to this one where, you know, you can't have too many different basin panels or anything or all of production. Um, in the past, we've AC coupled with these, but I think with these ones, there'd really be no need to AC couple unless the customer's using an insane amount of power during the day. Yeah, so, so, so AC coupled using a grid connected inverter. Yeah. Yeah, so which will give the customer more 240 they can turn on at once during the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this wouldn't help increase that at all, would it? No. And being able to use one, one of the NPCs for two separate arrays, facing different directions, to, rather than buying two separate NPCs. Yeah, cool. So, okay, so, um, yeah, and so, yeah, from you guys, from the point of view, from uh, for end users and installations, do you think this is a better product moving forward? Uh, it's, it's definitely impressive. Um, I think there's really no better or worse one. I think it's just more about the application that it can be used in. The fact that you can use this instead of two of these is a, um, a pretty big game changer. Yep. Um, yeah, I think it just comes down to application really and the customer's needs and loads throughout the day. Yep, cool. So yeah, so, so for the bigger systems, this. RS is going to be a better solution for most people, and for smaller systems, the MPPTs are still going to be ideal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. So. I think we'll point out too is the RS is IP21 rated, meaning it's rated for only for indoor use. Now, the older ones, they're IP45, right? IP43 rated, mind you. Um, so they can. Yeah, they can be a bit more exposed to the elements. You still want, don't want direct water going on to them and whatnot. But um, they're, they're a bit more sealed and just in here, can only go inside. Cool. Excited. All right, guys. Well, thanks. I look forward to it once you guys have installed one and plugged in and have a play, have another conversation, see how we go from there. So, done. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that you get some bit of an insight there from a, about the new Victron RS100 and also 200. They're great for huge solar systems. Any comments or questions, just post down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.